So it's a little update on what's happened. So all week I did fasting and when I went to Nussford to my fiance where my fiance lives, I went into Waitrose and I saw some cream eggs for 65p for five and some Easter eggs, really posh ones with like awesome truffles in it for £2.30. And my bargain senses overripped my um, fasting my likingness. And I thought I ended up putting a pack of cream eggs into my um, trolley or basket. And then I said to myself, well, you know, get these as a present for someone you know. I thought, well, I best get ten. Because, you know, they're nice and cheap and a couple of Easter eggs. But that was a lie. It was an absolute lie, it was. Um, I lied to myself, basically, because I would never have been able to give the cream eggs to the person who I was going to give them to, because I only ever meet her at a certain time when I go raving, because she's my rave buddy, and giving someone cream eggs at a rave ain't really that good of a thing to do. Once I gave some out of ketchup to a mate at a rave, I was like, Thinking back on it now, it, I must have seemed mad as fuck. But, you know, now, now I think, I have thinking things, but I, I tend to think afterwards. It's not it's not great still. I'm like, I'm over 40 and I'm still trying to work out how to think and shit. And then I thought, well, I could post them, but there'd be no point posting them because it cost me a fortune in postage. So by the time I get to my fiancé's house, I'm like, I'm going to have to eat all these now. It's like, what? Dodge. Well, dodge. And that, that wasn't it as well. We had the Easter eggs. I had one between me and my fiancé, and I gave the parents one between them. But then after that, we went on a pretty much a binge all weekend, eating cream eggs. I also got those Cadbury's puddings from... Best before sale in warehousey place, and they weren't the nicest, but you know, I still at home, still at home. And then I had all the sugar and chocolate inside me, you know. So when I went shopping, I saw these like fish fingers on offer, jumbo fish fingers from Co op, which I really like by the way. I thought, bloody hell, look at these, they're on offer. And so the chips, the chips had a yellow sticker on as well, they all had yellow stickers on. So I was playing like, for some reason, like nearly five quid for these fish fingers, and I was paying like 128 for these jumbo fish fingers. And then it was like 80p for chips, and there were three of them. And then, yeah, it just went all crazy all weekend, and I was just, I, I just went backwards, I really did. And just like last weekend to this weekend, I've put on £10 again. So I'm back on my fast, again. And, you know, I'm, I just seem, I'm like, I'm growing into this fasting. I'm growing into it. And I'm on day, like, I'm not sure what day I'm on. I think I'm on day 59, 58, maybe 57, could be 60, I forget. Bloody hell, those dogs are barking. So, yeah. But the good news is, I am £2.6 down from last week on this day so that's good news I've actually lost weight in a week two and a half pounds it's not the best in the world but it's there and it's a good little starting point this week I am planning like I always do fast until I get to Friday or Saturday I can't seem to get past Friday at the moment but that's what I like to do and then I need to go on to the protein, on to the carnivore, and do the best I can on the carnivore. Uh, I seem to, last year, I went straight into it, got to a certain point and wobbled. This year, I'm wobbling at the start and I'm getting into it. But it's like, on the 2nd of May, I've got a dentist appointment. I don't know if they're going to inject me with anything, anything like that. So if anybody can say if it's all right to go to a dentist fasted, that'll be all right. 
Um, and then end of June, oh, I'm meeting up with two old mates. But we haven't seen each other for a while, so we're going to go out for a drink and stuff. There's probably going to be a rave in between there. There's going to be a couple of holidays in between now and Christmas. So that's why I like to get all my weight loss done in the first part of the year because in the second part and the middle part of the year, it's like so much to do, you know. But then I know in my head, I know in my head, 50 days of fasting in a row, right? Will net me a fifty pound loss minimal. <clears throat> and when I said that to myself last week, before I saw those weight rose eggs, I think it did something to my brain, in which my brain tried to self sabotage me. But I also think my brain self sabotaging me on another level as well. It's because once I've lost my weight, I have then got to convert over to weightlifting and build myself a new body and the worst thing in the world for me for anything to do is weightlifting i've always hated weightlifting i've always hated resistance training i can't stand it and i'm sure my brain is sabotaging me because it knows when it gets down there to that point in time it's going to be like this is so destroying, it really is. So these are just my thoughts on a Monday, you know. I buggered it up, but I'm £2.6 down on the whole week. I need to become carnivore. Um, I see, I over at the weekend until I was pain. I was in pain, proper pain, you know what I mean? Pain on the Friday night, pain on the, sun, on the Saturday night. I was in just total pain. And my belly was pushing up against my organs and stuff like that. And it's and it terrible. And I knew I was doing it. And I just couldn't stop it. So, you know, that's my um, thoughts and stuff for Monday. Um, I, you know, there's no point in me making a video on Friday. Um, until, you know, I get back under 280 pounds i will just do my fart videos and stuff but at the moment i am there but i'm not there i'm in the week but i'm not in the weekend i've got my act together but i haven't got my act together it is becoming quite mad but i'll get there i'll get there eventually it's just every year I seem to have some crazy excuse to say fat. It's mad. But, you know, this is the second year in the snake diet. This year, I'll be, this week I'll be fasting, snake juice and all that stuff. And I'm just going to get to Friday and go, listen, it doesn't matter if you see fish fingers on offer. It doesn't matter if you see cream eggs and matter. It doesn't matter if there's the best deal in the world. Just eat. Protein. I get full on protein. Because you know the good thing about protein? 20% of that protein is going to be used to digest the protein. And then you're getting other percentages of the protein to go into your skin and then your muscles and then your eyes and then stuff like that. You know, so by the time, even if you do overeat on protein, right, which is pretty hard to do really because it when you try to overeat on protein, you actually get full. Um, most, like, what, 30% of it is going to come straight out, you know, or it's going to be converted, and then you're going to have some other stuff that's going to come out of you, and then the other stuff may or may not turn into fat, which if it does, it's going to be a hell of a lot lower than those carbs and sugars and stuff like that turning into fat. So, you know, I've just got to keep it in my head. Get to Friday, protein. Get to Saturday, protein. Possibly Sunday. Because I haven't been able to fast on a Sunday yet. Which is a bit mad. I've done Monday. I think I did Sunday last week, you know. Yeah, weird. Anyway, that's me. The Emtronia one. I'll try and get back here when I get under £280. This week, I've got to do it this week. You know. I've got to force myself. Just got to get me out. If I can overcome anxieties and smoking and 
stuff like that, I can definitely overcome this. So I'll see you all when I'm under 290. Later, later.